You're listening to In the Balance, an Iowa Judicial Branch podcast. Welcome back. A quick update. This will be my last month hosting the In the Balance podcast for the Iowa Judicial Branch. I will be turning the reins over to our new host and producer, Avash, in January. So keep your eyes and ears out for those exciting new developments. For my last podcast interview, I wanted to introduce one of the newest members to the Iowa Judicial Branch, Megan Tooker, counsel to the Chief Justice. Good morning, Megan. Thank morning. you for taking the time to meet with me today. Um, our paths haven't crossed much since you're joining the judicial branch and my leaving. So tell me a bit about yourself. Well, thanks for having me today. I grew up in Sterling, Illinois. My parents are retired school teachers. I went to the University of Iowa and got my undergraduate degree in geography and then went to law school at Drake. And what led you to pursue a legal degree? That's an interesting question. I've always wanted to be a lawyer since I was a little kid. Wow. I'm never sure why, because <laughs> I, I didn't know lawyers. Um, as best I can tell, I was influenced by TV. Uh, the Cosby Show was one of my favorite shows, and Claire Huxtable, the mother of the show, was a, uh, a litigator, I think, and I just thought she was a really cool lady and very independent, but still a loving mother and wife, and I think I kind of looked up to that. And as I got older, I watched a lot of court TV and legal dramas, and it was just always something in the back of my mind that I wanted to pursue, and I finally did. That's great. What path then led you to where you are now as counsel to the Chief Justice? Yeah, so after I graduated from Drake, I was Justice Streit's law clerk for two years uh, here at the Iowa Supreme Court. And from there, I was an associate at the Reynoldson Law Firm in Osceola and had a lot of fun working for Bob Reynoldson and Larry Van Worden. Then I... Uh, became the executive director and general counsel for the Iowa Ethics and Campaign Disclosure Board. That's a very small, independent agency in the executive branch that's responsible for enforcing Iowa's government ethics and campaign finance laws. And I was there for about nine years. And then um, more recently, I was the executive vice president and general counsel at the Iowa Lottery Authority and um, left there in July when the lottery was uh, changed into a division of the Department of Revenue. And since September, I've been uh, the chief's uh, counsel. And you mentioned being a law clerk uh, here right after graduating law school, and now you find yourself back here in the same yeah. building. So how do the experiences of being a law clerk to a justice uh, compared to being the counsel to the chief justice? Yeah, well, they're really different roles. <laughs> when I was clerking for Justice Strite, my job was solely to assist him in the opinions that he wrote. So I, did, I spent all my time reading briefs and drafting memos and assisting him in, in drafting opinions which was a lot of fun and really challenging. And now I have nothing to do with those opinions. <laughs> um, so I don't, I don't have anything to do with the court's docket. And uh, the chief has two law clerks that assist her in that capacity. My role is to help her with all of the other things she has to do um, because she's the chief justice and is the head of a branch of government. So very different roles, uh, but both very interesting and challenging. Yes, a bit of a wider scope yeah, this for time sure. around. For sure. And what aspects of the job so far have kind of caught you by surprise in the first few months? I, I don't know that I would say it was surprising, but this court is entirely different than 
the seven judges and ju or excuse me justices that were here when when I served Justice Strait. Uh, but I am uh, still struck at how down to earth and good natured they are. And mm -hmm. these are very important, smart, deep thinking individuals, but they still have a lot of fun and are very welcoming. And like I said, just very down to earth, which is um, really nice to see. Right. And what aspects of the job are you excited to tackle coming up? Yeah, so uh, Chief Justice Christensen is just a fantastic leader and she's very empathetic, really has her fingers uh, in a lot of different things and, and really understands the, the pulse of the judicial branch and, and the challenges it faces. And, and I'm just happy to be a, a part of that and to try to help her with that. Um, what what is coming to me uh, very clear in the short time I've been here is we have a lot of challenges related to being a rural state with a stagnant population. We're seeing fewer lawyers overall, mm -hmm. uh, particularly in rural areas, and that's putting a lot of challenges um, in place for how we administer justice, whether it's indigent defense, um, just having an, enough people to uh, fill all these important roles, not just judges, but county attorneys and magistrates, and, um, and, and how we're gonna do that with fewer people. And the court, uh, understands that and, and, and we're doing more remote proceedings and um, the court is and, and Chief Justice Christensen in particular all ears on, on how we can um, address these things and and still be effective and important to Iowans when when they need the judicial system and lastly if you could leave our listeners with one takeaway about the judicial branch today what would it be well, I would say this. Um, the judicial branch, I would say, is a calling for a lot of people. Um, it's not a glamorous job. It uh, doesn't pay as well as some other <laughs> positions. Uh, but it, the judicial branch is truly full of people that really care and are dedicated. They're passionate about the branch. They really want to help Iowans, um, and they understand that a typical day in the office for them is probably one of the most challenging, difficult, maybe vulnerable days of those people's lives, and they take that really, really seriously. And um, I'm just humbled to be a part of it, and um, you know, along with uh, Chief and the rest of the court, I want to do everything I can to support those people because what they do really matters, and um, and I hope they never lose sight of that. Well said. Well, thank you so much, Megan. Yeah, thanks. You've been listening to In the Balance, an Iowa Judicial Branch podcast hosted and produced by Marissa Gall. If you would like more information about Iowa's courts, you can visit www.iowacourts.gov. You can also follow the Iowa Judicial Branch on Twitter and YouTube at Iowa Courts. This episode of In the Balance is now adjourned.